Hi Green Preschool! I am super excited to begin our first art activity for our YouTube channel. Thought what better way to celebrate the warmer weather and spring season than painting our own gardens using a fork and q-tips. First, here are some of the materials you will need. As many colors of paint as you would like, 12 q-tips tied with an elastic band, 5 to 8 separate q-tips, one blank piece of paper, paint brushes, and one fork. Step number one, drawing the stems to your flowers. First choose the color paint you would like for the stems of your flowers. I chose the color green. What color did you choose? Next take your paintbrush and dip it into the color of paint you chose. After you're finished, it's time to paint your stems. You can choose to draw your stems anywhere on your paper. I chose to draw three stems. How many did you paint? Step number two is choosing the paint color you would like for your first flower. I chose the color blue because it is my favorite color. What is your favorite color? Next, take your paintbrush and dip it into the color of paint you chose. After you're done, it's time to paint the back of your fork. Helpful hint, make sure to put lots of paint on the back of your fork. That way it's easier to make the print. Now that you are all done applying the paint to the back of your fork, it is time to make the print of your first flower. Choose any of the stems you painted and carefully press your fork above the top of the stem. Helpful hint, you may need to rock the head of the fork up and down to make sure all the paint gets on the paper. Step number three, painting our second flower. First decide on the paint color you would like for your second flower. This time I chose red. What color will you choose? Once you've decided which color you would like for your second flower, you can dip your paintbrush into that paint color and apply it to the back of your fork. Once you have painted the back of your fork, you can gently take your fork and press it on your paper above one of your stems. Step number four, painting our third and final flower using our fork. First, choose the color of paint you would like for your flower. This time, I chose the color yellow. Once you have decided on the color of paint you would like, then you could dip your paintbrush into the paint. After your paintbrush is ready, then you can paint the back of your fork again. Now that your fork is ready, it is time to take your fork and gently press it onto the paper above your next stem. If you painted more than three stems, you can repeat steps two, three, and four to finish the rest of your flowers. Step number five. We are going to paint some more stems on our paper. First, dip your paintbrush in the color you have chosen for your stems. Now it's time to paint your stems. You can choose to draw your stems anywhere on your paper. I chose to paint two stems this time. How many did you paint? Step number six. First, we are going to pick up our Q-tips that are wrapped with an elastic band. Then choose the color of paint you would like for your next flowers. I chose purple because my favorite flowers are lilacs. What is your favorite flower? Next, you are going to take your Q-tips and dip it into the color of paint you chose. Once you are finished, it's time to dab your Q-tips along the sides of the stems you painted. Step number seven, we are going to paint our final stems for this activity. First, choose the color of paint you would like for your stems. I chose green again. Once you have chose your color, you can dip your paintbrush into the paint and begin to paint your stems anywhere on your paper. I decided to paint short stems this time. Did you paint your stems short or tall? Step number eight, we are going to paint tiny flowers using a Q-tip. First, we are going to use our Q-tip to make a dot on our paper for the center of our flowers. I chose yellow for the center of my flowers. What will you choose? Next, take your Q-tip and dip it into the color of paint you have chosen. Once you have finished, you can take your Q-tip and make dots along the stems where you want your new tiny flowers to go. 
Now it's time to choose the color for your tiny flowers. You can choose to make the color of those flowers all the same pink color, or you can make every single flower a different color. I chose to make all my tiny flowers red. What colors will you choose? Now that you have chosen the paint color you would like for your flowers, you can dip your Q-tip into the paint and begin to make dots around the center of your flowers. Step number nine, painting the grass. All right, friends, we are on our last step for this activity. First, choose the paint color you want for your grass. I chose green. Now it's time to take your paintbrush and dip it into the color of paint you have chosen for your grass. Now that you have your paintbrush ready, it's time to paint your grass anywhere along the bottom of your paper. I chose to use upward brush strokes to create the texture of my grass. How did you paint your grass? All right, friends, we are all finished for today. Thank you so much for painting with me and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.